Hey guys, welcome back. So to get started with this look, I'm going to go in with my favorite moisturizer. Of course, going in with my usual Olay Complete All Day Moisturizer with SPF 15. For primer, I'm going to be going in with ELF's Hydrating Face Primer, and this is going to prevent my skin from getting too dry during the day. To fill in my brows, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in the color Chocolate just to fill them in where I have some sparse areas. Now to give my brows some added texture and hold, I'm going to be going in with Benefit Skinny Brow in the color Medium Deep. Now going in with my Glamouflage Concealer by Hard Candy, I'm going to be applying this to my Morphe M224 brush and just carving out my brows. Now taking MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, I'm going to be applying this over both lids as my base. Now I'm going to be picking up my Lorac Mega Pro Palette and going in with Camel which is right here and I'm going to be applying this as my transition shade. Now I'm going to be picking up white and just applying this right under my brow as my highlight. Now for the base color for my lids, I'm going to be going in with Color Tattoo by Eye Studios and this is in the color Too Cool. I'm going to be applying this with a small shader brush and I found that this product works best if you just apply it with a brush at first and blend it out with your finger. The warmth of your hand is actually going to help this product blend a little bit easier. And we're going to do two coats of this just as our base for both lids. Now going in with this loose glitter from Hobby Lobby and the color Silver, I'm just going to be applying this with that small shader brush, um, the same one that I used previously with a little bit of Max 6 Plus on it. And this part is just going to take a little bit of patience. I'm going to be applying the glitter evenly distributed over both lids. And this is going to help with the cut crease that's going to come later. So just be really, really patient. Try to get this glitter as close into your inner tear duct and all over your lid. Um, but be careful that you don't get any of this glitter inside of your eyes. And just do this for both eyes. For my cut crease, I'm going to be using these two small brushes, one for blending and the other for intensifying the color. So first we're going to go in with Wisteria, which is a nice plum purple shade, and apply this right into my crease. And this is just going to be more of the blending shade, um, but I do want to keep it right into the crease and then extend it upward towards my brow. And then later on we're going to go in and deepen up that purple.
Now to deepen up the crease, I'm going to be going in with my Electric Palette by Urban Decay and using Urban, which is this beautiful dark purple shade. And I'm going to be using the smaller of the two brushes that I showed you previously and applying this deep into my crease and focusing it right there. I don't want to pull this color anywhere outside of there. I just want this color to be right into my crease and extended outward and kind of blended into Wisteria. And this is just going to give us a really nice, deep, dark cut crease. Now I'm going to go back into my Lorac Mega Pro palette and grabbing white again and just intensifying my highlight. So as you can see, this is a lot of back and forth. So now I'm going to go back into the glitter and just really apply this right into the crease so that I have a very nice clean cut crease. Um, so I'm just going to bring it right up to that purple and then blend everything out. Now I'm just going to be grabbing a makeup wipe and just getting rid of all of that extra glitter that fell off of my face. This is why it's super important to do your eyes first when using glitter. Now I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. Today I'm going to be using my favorite Tarte Tartiest Day Paint Liner in Black is Black. And I'm just going to be doing a pretty dramatic liner that goes pretty much to the tail end of my brow. clean up my liner and make it even darker, I always like going in with my Wet n Wild Mega Liner, Liquid Liner in the color black and just going over what I already did and this is just going to make it a little bit darker and more noticeable. Now to add a little bit of dimension to this look, I'm going to go in with black from my Mega Pro palette and use that smaller liner brush that I used previously and just put this on the outer corner of my eye. Um, about a third of the way in and then we're going to blend all of this out. So now I'm just going to quickly apply one of my favorite Allure lashes. These are the number 145 and these are pretty lightweight and um, they kind of extend my eyes out a bit. So I'm just going to apply these to both eyes. Now I'm going to be using the Glamouflage concealer that I used previously and just highlighting all the high points of my face under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And then we'll be blending all of this out with a damp beauty blender. For foundation, I'm going to be going in with both uh, my MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation and my MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. So first, I'm going to go in with the Face and Body Foundation. This is more lighter weight. Um, and I'm just going to do this all over my face with a damp beauty blender. And then I'm going to go in with my Makeup Geek um, Buffing Brush. And I'm going to go in with the Waterproof Foundation just to cover up my darker spots and my more problem areas so that everything is nice and covered. My camera betrayed me! So right now it's a little bit blurry, but just bear with me you guys, in a few minutes it's going to clear up for you. But um, now I'm going to be going in with my Max Prep and Prime Loose Powder, and I'm going to use this to bake um, all of the high areas um, of my face. And this is just going to make my highlighted areas a little bit brighter and to decrease creasing. 
So now to line my lips, I'm going to be using ColourPop's Lippy Pencil and the color Nevermind. This is a nice dark, deep purple shade. It almost reminds me of Night Moth by MAC. So I'm just going to be lining my lips with this. I know it's kind of blurry. I am so sorry. Um, now I'm going to be going in with NYX Matte Lipstick. And this is in the color Transylvania. And it actually matches this lip liner really, really well. Now it's time to dust off that Prep and Prime from your highlighted areas. And then I'm going to go back in with my Urban Decay Electric Palette and picking up Urban as well as the black shade from my Lorac Mega Pro Palette and applying this underneath my lower lash line just to bring everything together. Now to add some warmth to my face, I'm going to be going in with Max Bronzing Powder in the color Refined Golden and just applying this to the areas that the sun would hit my face naturally. I'm also going to be blending this up into my cheeks because I'm not going to be using a blush today. I'm going to have a very nice bronzed look. So to intensify my contour, I'm going to be using CoverGirl's True Blend Fix Stick Concealer and this is in the color Deep and it's their darkest shade. I'm going to be applying this into the hollows of my cheeks and then taking my blending brush and spraying it with some Max Fix Plus and blending all of this out up towards my temples. Now I'm going to be picking up my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and picking up this gray undertone shade just to contour my nose down the sides and a little bit in the middle. And this is just going to make my nose appear a tad bit smaller and then I'm just going to be blending all of this out with a small stippling brush. Now taking my favorite highlighter of all time, which is the Mary Luminizer by The Balm, I'm going to be highlighting um, the tops of my cheeks, down the center of my nose, above my brows, and my cupid's bow. I'm going to make this pretty intense too. Now I'm going to be going in with Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit and just blending in my real lashes to my falsies as well as getting my lower lashes. <music> Lastly, I'm going to be popping some of that Luminizer right into my inner tear ducts just to brighten them up a bit. And then I'm going to be finishing off with some Max Fix Plus and we are done. I hope you guys enjoyed this look, you guys. This is a perfect fall, glamorous, nice, vampy look for a date night or anything like that. I will see you guys in my next video and thank you guys so much for tuning in. Bye. Just my damn luck. All the time. This shit happens. All the time. And it's new. Mira. That ain't cute. Alright, so now I gotta go to Ikea like this. Like this. Bye, hey. I'm here to buy furniture, y'all.